These people look so happy because they're taking a geometric dimensioning and tolerancing seminar presented by Techies. Not only do we do on-site and computer-based training, but we also offer public seminars. Check it out on our website just by clicking on Public Seminars under Training Options. Now here's your tip. The first tip in this two-part series on using two holes as datum features showed a simple part. The primary datum feature was the back face and then we used this hole as our secondary datum feature and this is our tertiary that gave us a horizontal datum plane and a vertical datum plane to measure from. In this tip now we have put the holes off on a diagonal. Remember what we're doing is we're taking three mutually perpendicular planes in our processing equipment and we're aligning the part to those planes using the datum features. So the intersection of your second and third datum planes will intersect at the axis of the hole that's our datum feature B. And then we use datum feature C to orient the planes of the datum reference frame. Now this is awkward many times for measurement, so we've added a 30 degree basic angle, which allows us to have some auxiliary measurement planes. It doesn't add any tolerance to the drawing, it just makes it more convenient than to measure, so you'd rotate your setup 30 degrees. Keep in mind, these are basic dimensions, they don't have tolerance, and as long as we use basic dimensions, we can translate and rotate so that we can make it easier for folks to measure. I'll see you next tip, and remember, at Techies, GD&T rules.